Warcraft. Good. Then let's go. Hello, ballers, and a bro face to you all, you bright, shiny, smiley people out there in the world. It is, of course, Wednesday, which means workshop. We're doing a workshop, people. We are looking at your gameplay and seeing if you screwed up and making fun of you in horrible, horrible ways. Oh, so the YouTube commenters will have you believe this guy just makes a mockery of players and doesn't help them in any way. <laughs> Unsubscribed. Well, yeah, kind of. But still, we try to teach things, or teach the players how to do things a little bit better. And then they come back and they do awesome super mega uber 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 DPS or healing or tanking or other amazing things. Speaking of tanking, yeah, put a little goofy video up before. So many dislikes like, oh my god, Preacher shouldn't be doing this kind of content, mocking other players. Oh my god, he should have sat down with a candlelit supper and help this guy out. Nope. Nope. Sometimes I just cannot be asked. You know what I mean? I help people every day. All right. First of all, first and foremost, to those of you out there in YouTube land, the live streamers who are lucky enough, I guess, uh, to be available at the time I do the workshops and live streams and stuff like that, will already know about this. But we are partnered with Game Fan Shop. I'm going to do a video of it later in the week, maybe Saturday before the web show. Yeah, it's web show weekend. Remember that. It's a recent partnership that we signed, and I didn't want to make a big fuss about it until people tried it out. It's actually super amazing and one of the best ways to support us in the entire world. About 30 or 40 of you have tried it so far, all had good positive results. Two thumbs up. And of course, we have started to earn revenue from there. What is Game Fan Shop? Game Fan Shop is a place you can buy PC games, any PC games, including the seven of you who bought Mists of Pandaria. How many of you are watching my show and do not own Mists of Pandaria? Some ones and zeros would be nice on that. Ones and zeros. If you've watched my show, you don't own Mr. Pandaria. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Uh, but yeah, it sells any game. And it does it 10 to 40% cheaper than your usual places, is the general idea. It's not always cheaper. Don't expect you to be crazy. But basically, 10% cheaper than Steam, EA, whatever. And it just gives you the game code. The only pain in the ass to you is you have to redeem the code. That's the fuss. But we earn like 10% every time you buy a game from there. From indie games, brand new games, doesn't matter. So, I'll do a video about it later in the week, but a big thank you to those of you who've done that. Because it's awesome. So, you can get your games, any PC game, cheaper, and we get something out of it as well. Two thumbs up. Okay, today, I had a bad day. One of my hard drives failed. Mm. Uh, it was actually the Fraps drive, which sucked. <laughs> it's the one that records all my footage. It's okay. Wave the Warrior is in another drive and backed up. <sighs> I kind of panicked, uh, but so I had to re-record a lot of stuff today. So it was a pretty, it was pretty fail. It was pretty fail. It was one of my very large drives. Not that they're that expensive, but it's gonna kind of one of those things you can do without, right? Is your fraps drive failing? Yeah, all my footage was corrupted, but it's okay. The warrior video was already made yesterday, so that's going up tonight. Nice thing about shield block and shield barrier for those of you who hate that discussion, like I do. The last time I discussed this, you guys went a little bit crazy. Those maths. The math people came crawling out of the woodwork, right? Out of the little mouse holes that they live in to start some discussion that on Boss X at 4 minutes and 12, Shield Block would have been a far superior choice breach, therefore your video is BULLSHIT! Across the board. So I've done a wonderful little discussion on it. Feel free, you math guys, to go and troll the shit out of it. I look forward to it. As always. So, in preparation for today's workshop, we're going to look at one fight, one fight only. <laughs> Uh, which means we're going to do either another workshop tomorrow, but more than likely we're going to do Tuesday, Wednesday workshops next week. Because I kind of had to do a lot of work today because my hard drive failed. But that's the way it goes. We're going to be looking at a Fire Mage. So it's not a super short workshop because Fire Mages are difficult stuff. I'm not lying actually. Fire Mages are quite difficult to master. Pretty easy to pick up. Difficult to get right. Like a DK. Frost DK. Everybody can play a Frost DK! Everybody in the universe can play a Frost DK. You just dribble on your keyboard. You just spam Howling Blast and lol, I've done a million DPS. Nope. <laughs> Mastering a Frost DK, not easy. It takes a little bit of thinking about. Same with the Fire Mage. Same with the Fire Mage. First of all, wonderful to see a return of the Fire Mage in 5.2. If you've got good gear, Fire Mage, the way to go. You'll see all the top mages now are fire. Fire, arcane, bitten in the ass. 
I kind of want to do a Ron Swanson. Arcane's been reduced to nothing. Yes. Yes. Fuck Arcane. Redesign that motherfucking piece of shit spec. It's useless. It sucks balls, in my opinion. My opinion. Fire Mage, wonderful place to start. Because the big problem with Fire Mages... Who's a Fire Mage in the chat? Where are you, Fire Mages? Good Fire Mages. Look at everybody now. I'm a Fire Mage. I'll have you know I capped him two days ago. <laughs> that kind of guy. Who is the good Fire Mages? Who's like a heroic Fire Mage? Who's like a heroic Fire Mage? Couple of you there. What is the biggest problem with Fire Mages to master? What's the hardest thing to master about Fire Mage? This will prove whether or not you're a good Fire Mage or not. What is the difficult thing to get right about a Fire Mage? Oh, Red Axe like a fucking boss. And in fact, every other single Fire Mage in the fucking chat is like, yeah, Combustion. Combustion is a total pain in the ass to get right. If you can do it, you are a god amongst the DPS charts. And your DPS will go ridiki-donk. And I want you to have ridiki-donk DPS. I could take a fucking Fire Mage to school in much lesser gear if he doesn't know how to combust properly. And I mean to fucking school. Easily. If you don't know how to combust, you're going to have a bad time. You're going to have a bad time when you fire mage. You're going to have all the gear in the world and do flat out piddly, floppy dicked combustions all the time. Not cool. What's combustion? Combustion is a big DPS cooldown that we're going to talk about later. But first of all, let's mock a UI. Now, I'm going to try doing something I've never done before. It could get a little bit blurry. This video is submitted to me via Twitch. Do not approve of that, but I wanted to do a Fire Mage workshop, so we're going to try this, we're going to try this. It's a pass of the clip on Twitch. It's pretty good for the most part, actually, or I wouldn't have bothered. However, when it gets really busy, it could get a little bit blurry. Um, so what we're going to be doing is doing our best to deal with this. It should be fine, bear with me. The big important stuff is really easy to see. For those of you who are desperate for crystal clear polygons and little traces of information in some areas of this fight, because it is, of course, the most... Mm, is it? I would say so. The most visually intensive fight in all of the Throne of Thunder. Anybody guess what it is? What's the most visually annoying fight? It's, okay, I'll give you a clue. If you use nameplates, it's a huge pain in the ass. This fight is a huge pain in the ass if you use nameplates. I mean... Real pain in the ass. Oh, no one yet, no one yet, no one yet. Megara? No, Megara's easy. Durumu's easy. It's only a maze. It's nothing difficult. Use nameplates. Dark Animus? No. Yeah, Tis Gold's got it. Primordius, right? Primordius is a fucking pain in the ass if you've got nameplates on. Because your screen don't goof up. Don't goof up big time. Your screen gets a little bit wacky, a little bit crazy, and nobody has a good fight. Illidan Council, Toto, Stone Guard? <laughs> Is it the Stone Guard, that one? We're going to be looking at Primordius for a Fire Mage. Interesting fight, Primordius, if you've never done it. I imagine most of you may have ventured into that wonderful world of LFR with tanks who taunt at 3.9%. Can you imagine my face when that tank taunted that boss off me? Towards the raid, at 3.9%. Can you imagine my reaction to that? Motherfucker. Motherfucker. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. We've got this. Uh, we're going to be looking at normal mode. It's normal mode 25 man Primordius. Not LFR. Uh, but some of you will have tried this fight in LFR. And may have got a general understanding of what's going on. Primordius has a lot going on. A hell of a lot. Don't dispel. Mm, you can't dispel. But you have to be a little bit careful. Uh, but Primordius is one of those fights where you just need to keep a buff up. Essentially, if you've never done this, the boss is pretty much immune to your damage unless you collect five pools of lovely goo off the floor and mutate yourself into a creature which can then DPS Primordius. Your main goal throughout this fight is one, not to stand in shit that's on the floor. Bad shit. And standing good shit on the floor when needs be to keep your buff up so you can actually kill the motherfucker. Okay. So, I hope this works. Uh, uh, looks pretty good. Alright, so first things first, I'm going to skip somewhere into the fight. And as you can see, guys, Primordius is one of those fights where it's cool to turn off nameplates. It's cool, you don't need them. You know there's a million ads. Turn that shit off. Just turn it off. It's no interest to you. Tiny plates, especially the threat plates, use a million, million, million bytes of memory. Bites, but someone's gonna go, that's only like a billion bites. Uh, but yeah, they use a fucking shitload, alright? So you don't need to just turn it off. Turn it off, spare yourself the memory, you're only killing the boss. Nothing to worry about. 
Uh, so we're going to do the UI business first. Boom! I'm going to let that sucker play. So as you can see, we can definitely make out what's going on. We can easily see that. We've got some tell me when business going on down here. Tracking his trinkets like, trinkets like a god among men. We are using the two minute combustion. For those fire mages who are interested, we're using the two minute combustion. As you can see here, we're tracking the invocation buff. And we're also tracking our nether tempest here. Which is fine. Alter time, combustion, blah, 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 blah. Mm -mm, Prinkets, yeah, thank you very much. You guys pick up on the most crazy things in the universe, right? Example, hey, segue. I released a video today demonstrating that people taunt at crazy times. How many people decided to comment that, hey, preach, you didn't channel the barrier? On a, on the, do you know how the, do you know how arcane velocity works? Do you know how arcane velocity works? Because it's like the most useless thing for the belly. It really is. It doesn't matter. I just did it out of instinct. <sighs> okay. Oh, sorry, it makes it makes me cry. Cauterizing. Uh, so what do we think of the UI? What do we think? Uh, da, 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 da. You like it? Uh, you can just... Anybody? 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 No comments on the UI whatsoever. Interesting. It's blurry. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man. What's that mod that makes UI blurry? Where can I download it? Oh, uh, funny, yo. Get up. It's not bad. No, it's actually really good. It's literally, you can't see anything. You can't see any of these. Uh, you must be on a small screen, I guess. But it's actually fine. His UI is really fine. It's pretty good. Uh, I don't like this. This actually leads us to a problem later in the fight. Um, is the tracking of Nether Tempest and um, Invocation over here actually is a pain in the ass. Because we have really stupidly shit uptime of Nether Tempest, which we'll see later. And we also forget our Invocation sometimes. While we're doing other things. As soon as we become distracted. It's not in our face enough. It's not in our face enough. It's one of those things I was talking about earlier. When you make a tell me when. And it's about keeping a buff up. It is no good. Having it on your screen all the time. It's not in your face enough. It's really not. We've discussed this on other ones. If you have some sort of cooldown Or something like that. Having it in your face. All the time. 24 hours a day. Is no good. We want to see Invocation when it's about to run out and it needs to be right in our face so we can prepare for it. Something like six seconds is more than fine. So at six seconds before it expires, it just goes, <laughs> get your Invocation buff up, okay? If it's on our screen all the time, we're not interested. You can do something similar with Nether Tempest as well if you want to use Tell Me When to track your dots. It's just to let you know when it's about to expire. Something like that. So much better. When it's on your screen all the time, you forget about it, right? Uh, it's always there, blah, 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 and it goes a little bit goofy. Uh, okay. So, here we go, here we go. So, I'm going to actually go back earlier in the fight to when we pull, where it's going to be much, much clearer. I want to point out that a lot of the blurriness we're going to see is actually a result of nameplates, causing your FPS to tank like a son of a bitch. Uh, tanks like a son of a bitch. It really does. It really does tank like a son of a bitch. So here we go. Lovely pull, as you can see. Crystal clear here. No problems at all. And we're going to do our pull. And we don't know where Primordius is. Always a problem, right? Where is that fucking guy? Where is Primordius? I love this. Everybody ready? Okay. You see him there. You see him there. All right, there he is. Ready? Seven. We're doing it. We're doing it. Oh, he's disappeared. That motherfucker. Primordius be trolling, people. <laughs> Primordius be trolling. Oh, man. That always makes me laugh. Primordius be trolling, man. <laughs> he's like, ah, you thought you were going to get me? Well, fuck you, man. Fuck you. So we kick off. We pop our mirror images here. No, they're just, we don't really do much of any damage uh, during this period. It's not too bad. Popping memory images, maybe I would have saved that. Save that. Now, we have to get this buff. You can see our FPS here is like 14. <laughs> Troll Mardius, definitely. I love the way he just disappears at that point and just reappears somewhere else. Like, oh, man. Uh, we've got 14 FPS. Okay, 14 FPS. So we're not in the best situation in the world for live streaming. No big deal, no big deal. Uh, but what we're going to point see very early on is we can't move for shit. We can't move for shit. Moving for us is like, oh, my God, are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding? I can't move. 
I can't. I, we, if I move, I just abandon all hope of casting spells. Um, and we're trying to move too much in the earlier part of the phase. All we need to do is get our buff on. Let's get our buff on. That sounds a bit ghetto, I know, but that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get our buff. We need to get the stacks of the goo from the ads. Now, as an appropriate guild, we've obviously assigned people to certain areas of the map in order to make sure we maximize the absorption of our goo. We want the goo to go fast. We are so fucking desperate to get this buff on that we just don't cast any spells. Pretty much, we don't cast any spells, which is uh, kind of annoying. Uh, for me to watch anyway. So we start off with our DPS. And we're doing the right thing here. A lot of people are popping their pyro as soon as they see this. Not the best thing to do. You want to try and get another proc before Hot Street runs out. And you will have a much better time. See we run up here. And we just. We kind of just loll around. And we just mooch around. And we're doing this little troll dance. Which is never nice to see. Trolls are just terrible dancers. I never want to see a troll dance in my life. We've just not casted anything at all during this whole period of life. It's like 20 seconds where we don't cast anything. Can't do that. We just can't do that. This guy turns out to be one of the... Focus me. There we go. Uh, this guy turns out to be one of the top DPSs in his guild. You could do so much more. Like, crazy amounts more. It's weird. It's actually weird to see someone doing, like, 10, 15 seconds of just kind of doing the troll dance. And still topping the meters. Good credit to you. Not great for your guild, though. Let's see some people dominating. Because you, my friend, who submitted this workshop, have the ability to dominate the DPS in your guild. You really do. You have the potential. Potential is there. We don't need to be running around constantly. Yeah, we could do Scorch. We could do all that thing. But what I would prefer to do is... I know whereabouts these things are going to die. The, things are, the thing about the living fluids is they only go in one particular direction. They go towards Primordius. My ass is wants to be stood where these guys are. Because these guys are doing it right. Doing it wrong. Doing it right. Doing it wrong. You're a mage in your range. Yes, you want to get the buff as soon as possible. Okay? Yes, you want to get the buff as soon as possible. That doesn't mean that we sacrifice all possible damage. If we look at the... Uh, if I just... How can I do this? I can't do that. Uh, <laughs> can I do this? Can I? No. No. Uh, I want to show you this. Yeah. Okay, good. You can see on the damage meter, we are nowhere to be seen. Absolutely nowhere to be seen whatsoever. We're not there. We're just not there. We're just... We're just we've, we've lost all hope. And people who are just doing some multi dying stuff... Remember, you've got Nether Tempest. You have Nether Tempest. You have that kind of stuff ready and ready to go. Uh, use it. Use it, okay? Take a full advantage of it. And you'd want to, I know you want to get this buff as quickly as possible, and you're probably worried about people ninjuring it, but we do have blink and stuff. You're not going to blink into anywhere crazy. And we end up following. You see the way we're following these towards Primordius? We're following, and that's fucking our DPS. We want to be about here and let these things come to you. They should be coming towards you. You want to be between Primordius and the ads, because then they just come to you. That is a wonderful way to do this, okay? So you're trying to get your buff. Everybody's humping your leg. I can see that quite clearly. And each time we try and retarget, we do this little dance. And we forget to do any DPS. So as you can see, we've got our invocation fell off. Never cool. We don't notice. And we're not asked because it's just on our screen all the time. And this whole movement phase just sucks. See, we're not casting anything here. We can move and cast, people. Now the Tempest is an instant cast spell. We can move and cast all the time. We can be dotting and dancing. If you're insistent on being the troll who dances, dance and dot, motherfuckers. Dance and dot. We can still be doing damage during all this. We're a DPS. We want to do some damage. Let's help our friends out. Let's get some dots going. All that kind of stuff. Again, we're not casting. We even, we even rope in a cone of cold. And then we notice our invocation. Finally get that back on. And then we're going to go ahead and get our buff anytime soon, which is cool. Getting that buff on in about five seconds. Yeah, look, you picking on this one. I love this. I love the fact that you just ran around here just looking for someone to steal. People are DPSing the boss. I hate everybody else. There we go. We're deep. We're buffed now. Now we kick ass and we go into blurry mode. Combustion helper. Combustion helper. Mm-hmm. That combustion helper is one of the things that I probably haven't done enough on. Combustion Helper. What is the point of Combustion Helper? Fire Mages in the chat. 
By the way, in the chat, what is the real reason we use combustion helper? What does it track that is important? Combustion helper in different forms. Uh, if combustion helper is an add-on that helps you do combustions, people install it and believe they instantly will now do great combustions because I have the add-on. Oh yeah, I've got an add-on. <laughs> I know what I'm doing, but we don't know how to use it. I haven't done a guide on it. Ignite, right? Ignite, which is where our combustion comes from. So I'm going to show you this. Hopefully I'm not blocking it in some bizarre fashion. Uh, no, I'm not. It's there. Now, it's going to be difficult for you to read. Uh, now, it goes red and green, but thankfully, <coughs> thankfully, um, it's it can go green in random places. We don't really like that kind of thing. <sighs> what it will do, and I was hoping you guys can see this. Now, I'm not sure if you can, but I'm going to read it. So here it says 16,803. Next big thing about being a pro fire mage. How long does an ignite last? This is really, really important. How long does an ignite last? Come on. You must know this if you are a fire mage. Four seconds. You have four seconds to get a good ignite. Four seconds ain't a lot of time. Ignites roll and build up, but you can easily fuck your ignite badly if you do not know that it lasts four seconds. You have a four second window of a good ignite to get your combustion fired off. If you miss that window of a good ignite, your ignite will go like 90,000, 100,000, 20,000 because the four seconds rolled off and the big stuff that was built into it has expired because it only lasts four seconds. Yes, it rolls, but each ignite will fall off at stages and we only have four seconds to take advantage of a good ignite. It can disappear very quickly. If we fire off a spell that gives us a really good start to our ignite, we have four seconds to capitalize and build on it before it disappears. And then when it disappears, we do the floppy dick ignite, uh, combustion. If you don't know what co combustion is, it's the DPS cooldown that works off ignite. That's all you need to know, okay? You don't need to know anything more. It works off ignite. The bigger your ignite is, the bigger your combustion will be. Easy mode. Okay, easy mode stuff. So we have combustion helper, and we just wonder about how do we use it properly. So I am going to do a full video on this. I think it's really important. I really want to do that. Um, so in order to take advantage, uh, there's a lot of good fire mages in the chat. I can tell, uh, but this might be a tricky question. Is there is a method and a technique to almost guarantee you create the perfect ignite every time you combust? There is a way to do this. There is a way to use a couple of spells to ensure that you have a lot of pyroblasts firing off in a four second window, which gives you a huge ignite to combust. And it's not just saving hot streak. In order to get a brilliant, brilliant ignition, good word, I love the word ignition. It's not just crit with pyroblast. It's about alter time, pom pyro, making sure before you alter times that you had a heating up and a pyroblast hot streak proc so you can go pyro, 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 pyro. And you literally drill the bob with pyroblasts. Then you can bust that shit. And it just goes boom. It's fucking nuclear. It's crazy. You abuse pom pyro. You abuse altar time. You wait to that situation where you've got a lovely pyro blast ready to go. You've got a heating up so you can go pyro, 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 pyro. Boom. Combustion. And then you do these immense crazy fucking combustions that really rock the fucking world. Rock the world. And that's what we need to do. Fortunately, our combustion is going to suck in a minute. Uh... Uh, which is, uh, so we need to learn about this stuff. So I kind of need to do something about it. Uh, so we're going to go to 343. Now we've used presence of mind and so on and so forth. But as you can see, combustion still not been used. We still haven't used it. We're now two minutes into the fight. Now I don't, I'm not going to complain about the lack of use of combustion. Because using it on the little blobs, yeah, whatever. Technically we could have had an extra combustion. Whatever. Um, so we could have had some more damage, but it wouldn't have even lasted the life of the tick, blah, 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 blah. So, you know, you know. It's one of those things. It's one of those things where the decision was made. So now we're getting into combustion. Now, we've already used our presence of mind and our altar time, but we've not got a combustion. This is why I kind of need to do a video on this. But what I wanted to show you is that right now, 
Our Ignite is at 105,000. Now, I'm not sure if you can see this, but this is our combustion help here. We have 105,000 Ignite going. We've got a great fucking Ignite ready to go. For our gear right now, important thing about Fire Mages, guys. If you've got one and you're a raider, you need to know what is a good Ignite for you. What is a good Ignite? I could ask the world's top Fire Mages and they will give me a number. Oh, I can get my Ignite up to 167,000. I can get it up to 400,000. They can get it to crazy numbers and they will know. From experience, just from playing your character, you will see a number in Combustion Helper and go, Oh! I know what a good combustion is. I know what a good ignite is for me. This is what my gear can produce. So I should be looking for around that number before I combust. Because that's what I'm capable of doing. It will be different at the pull, of course. If you're doing a pull on the boss, just so you're not always looking for that perfect combustion later in the fight. Obviously, if you've got potions up, all your trinkets that proc at the beginning of the fight, that kind of stuff, you will have crazy ignites. I think on Ultraxian, people were getting... Uh, Ultraxian, yeah. Ultraxian, some fire mages were getting absolutely immense ignites in the pull. I mean stupidly immense. Um, so be aware of what, you can, what your ignites can get up to. You need to know the number. So it goes from 105, then it instantly drops to 80,000. That's how, And then down to 60,000 in the space of three seconds. In the space of three seconds, we lose 40,000 of our ignite damage. This is what saddens me. Because we're at 124,000... I know you. some of you can't see this, but we're at 124,000 Ignite right now. And the sad thing is, come on, 70,000, 100,000, 80,000, then we pop it. We lost 40,000 damage. We lost 40,000 damage of our Ignite in that two seconds because we kind of delayed it and we waited for it. And we weren't aware that that's a really good Ignite for us. We were at 120,000 Ignite. When we popped combustion, it dropped to 80,000. That's brown pants time. That's when you go, motherfucker. And I'm serious, because you just went from doing, hell yeah, hammer of the gods, use magnum condoms type combustion, to the average guy, rolling the streets combustion, you know, the guy who just fires it off willy-nilly. And it's really sad to see that you fired off your combustion then. Really bad. So the fire, the fire mages are like, oh my god. The fire mages are, have been there. We've all been there when we've got an awesome ignite and then we fire a combustion and as we do it, that ignite just goes Pfft, because we didn't take into account our four second window and that really fucking sucks. It happens, it happens. But nothing's as worse as what's about to happen. Oh yeah. Do I tease? I tease. I like it. So we just finally fired off our combustion. Boom, it's the big two minute gangster. Yeah, baby, we're happy. We're pretty happy. We're rolling now. We've used our combustion. It's still ticking for 338,000 damage. All good. Could have ticked for a hell of a lot more. Sad fit. That bloodlust. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Dude. <sighs> yeah, that just happened. Do you know what's amazing? I don't want to play the audio because all their vent and stuff is talking. This is what happens. I want to do a reenact a re reenactment. We've got combust. We know we need to fire it off, right? We know it's sitting there, it's staring at us in the face. I'm like, I've got to combust here. I've got to combust it. So I'm building up my ignite. Holy shit, 120k ignite. If I just do this one more pyro, maybe it goes a little bit bigger, and then I'm going to combust. We fire that pyro. It's a non-crit. Our combust drops to 80k. We fire it off, and we go, shit. Oh, well. YOLO swag, right? I'll get it next time. No big deal. So I start playing off. On vent, right? This is the best thing about it. On vent, the raid leader says, let's bloodlust. The guy who makes the video, I don't know if you're in the chat, but it was awesome, goes, <sighs> it's the best sigh in the history of the universe because he's just combusted. And all you hear on the vent triller is, oh, fuck my life. He's so pissed off. He's so pissed off. And I'm right there with you, buddy. I'm right there with you. Because as soon as I saw it, and I saw you just combusted, 
I was like, oh man, dude, <laughs> not cool. Please, and I get the impression from the way this Bloodlust was called is that your raid leader or whoever called for Bloodlust needs to watch the workshop from three weeks ago when I did an entire workshop on why you are fucking retarded if none if if there's anybody in your raid who does not know when you're going to bloodlust that's your fault it is your fucking fault okay everybody should know when you're going to bloodlust it's important it's so important okay the raid leader calls for bloodlust you can't call for bloodlust randomly unless it's super emergency everybody in the raid needs to know there are windows for bloodlust Sad times. Sad times. Okay. So we just bloodlusted. And yeah, our guy's pissed. He goes ahead and he does grab some sort of scorch DPS. We actually scorched during bloodlust. Our positioning sucks, by the way. We have to point this out. There's no way I could do this workshop without bringing this up. Okay? Our positioning throughout this entire fight fucking sucks. This is one of the biggest problems to take away from this workshop, okay? Your play isn't that bad. You know that this Bloodlust sucks balls. Good. Good. Good player. You generally have a reasonable idea of how to get a good combustion, but we can do it much better. You've got Pom. You've got Pom. You've got Alter Time. You just need to work those together. I'll do a video on it. Don't worry about it. Our positioning, though, is dire. Really bad all the time. We're not considering our position whatsoever. We move during bloodlust in a circular room. That's really bad, okay? We should never be in the situation where we're in a small circular room and we end up out of range of the boss during bloodlust. If you're in a situation where you were in a small room and you end up out of range during bloodlust, you've done goofed somewhere really badly. Really, really badly. Now, I understand that you're going to say, but I didn't know we were going to bloodlust. Doesn't matter. Our position can be so much better. There are opportunities. This is another video I'm going to do for you next week. Okay, it's called Opportunity Moving. There is a way to move constantly as a ranged class, pretty much, as every ranged class, without having to stop casting your primary spells. As a Fire Mage, we want our bomb, we want Fireball, we want Pyro, generally. That's what we want, okay? There is a way to move constantly around any room and still maintain those spells without having to resort to things like Scorch and things like that. Okay, really important, but our position is dire. Take away, if you take away anything for today, don't worry too much about your combustion. I'll do a video guide on that. Position, position, position. I cannot express this enough. If you have ads moving out of the walls towards the boss, you should be between the ads and the boss to make sure you maximize your damage. Throughout the fight, all you're doing is casting Fireball and Pyro. It's not a difficult job at this point. Keep Nether Tempest up, right? Something we do in a five man. We do it while we're fucking questing, daily, whatever. We're used to that. It should be super comfortable to you. Position, 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 position. All the fucking time. Where is the tank taking the boss? Can I move over there? Maybe I should already blink. Let me just show you an example. There's some guys here. I guess I want to guess. I can't see the names, unfortunately. But this looks like the warlock who is the top DPSer. Look where he is stood. He's letting this boss come to him. In a circular room, you have certain movement advantages, such as the shortest path is through the middle. Now, you want to keep the middle clear because people have to move through there because of the purple bombs and so on and so forth are keeping away from the tank. understand that. But you can easily move to a few steps and you have all this room to cast because you only have to move four or five steps here in order to have access to all this all this okay position all the time really work on position it's so goddamn important i cannot express it enough i really cannot so we ended up scorching during bloodlust which kind of sucks also note that like nether tempest again is off we want at least 96 to 97 percent uptime on the boss we want that it's fucking important it's really really important this position's terrible Okay, if you're trying to soak the toxic bombs, fair enough. I'm not going to say which are the caustic gas, I should say. If you're part of the soaking squad or anything like that, then fair enough. But be at the maximum range and always be ready to move around here. If we are this close, we can move to here. We can see caustic gas actually hits here nice and fine. Yeah, I just want to point this out. Some people point it out uh, that he gets a lots of pyros. 
fire is realistically only viable when you're in this situation. When you can almost guarantee supremely regular crits. If you're not getting constant pyroblasts, that's standard play. That's when fire comes into its own. If you are not getting really good consistent crits, don't bother with fire. You'll just you'll be a you'll be a big boat of fail. You don't want to do that. We're just not considering it at all. Look, we're still now we're moving, but we're moving and we're not casting anything. Never want to do that. We're moving and we're not casting anything. Really don't want to see that. Really don't want to see that. Okay. Next thing. What's going to happen? Come on, you guys have done this fight. I know you have. Some of you have done it normal. Some of you have done it heroic. Some of you have done it LFR. What's about to happen? It's going to fuck our DPS. Something's going to happen. And we need to be ready for it. Lord knows we need to be ready for it. We need to be ready for it big time. Big, big time. What's going to happen? Not gas. No, not gas. Come on, Primordius. Mm, mm, mm. Evolution's going to come off at some point. This is the next thing we need to factor into our design of how we're going to kill this boss. There's a DPS, that's what you do. How am I going to effectively fuck this boss? Big time. Of course, we want to keep the mutation buff up. Keep our evolution up. Now, we're not going to prepare for it properly. In terms of at least any camera movement, looking for where there's some good places to gather it up. What we're in fact going to do is kind of let it fall off and then just be like, uh, 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 I don't have a buff. And we're going to start arcane explosioning and doing all sorts of crazy nonsense. We need to, um, we need to be ready for this. Seconds, at least, you know, a good 10-15 seconds before we want to start planning what we're going to do about this. So I'm going to skip ahead to about 5.13. Yeah, I think it drops off about 5.24. I'll go to 5.20. Uh, now it's a bit blurry. As you can see, in fact, it's incredibly blurry. Nameplates, again, this is trashing your deep, your uh, FPS, by the way, is these nameplates really badly. But you see we've got six seconds left. And we continue to get as much damage on the boss. But what are we not doing? We're not doing anything. One thing we're certainly not doing, which we should be doing, is starting to look the fuck around. I know we can see the pixels, but we understand what's going on, right? The point still stands. I know it's not the best quality video. Stop telling me. It's fine. We're aware of it. We need to be looking around. We need to be spinning, looking around. Where's the camera at? Where's the camera? We need to We need to find out where the hell are we going to get this mutation buff. Fucking quick smart. We want it right now. I want it as soon as possible. I want it to run off and come back on. I want to plan for it. Let's have, correctly I might add, especially in Heroic, dedicated teams to just killing ads. Not all of them, but killing them on a regular basis to ensure that people can just go back in the buff and back in. It's a good thing to do that. Warlocks are great at it, especially the Affliction guys. They're amazing at it. They're really, really good at it. So a lot of guilds do that, is they have some dedicated guys who just keep dotting up all the ads, and not all of them, but a general portion, and create, trying to create a pool of where they can just refresh this buff. It's a good idea to do that. In this, it seems to be, much, I'm guessing, it's a free-for-all. If your guild does have a team of people who do that, all right, well, if your guild does have a team of people who do that, then you should have been abusing it, but it doesn't look that way. It doesn't look that way. Uh, so you need to be aware of that. So our bus about to run off. And... Boom, it's off. What do we do? Arcane Explosion. Now you can't, maybe you can't see it, but he's Arcane Explosion in like an absolute boss here. <laughs> A total boss. And we end up just going into derp mode. Now, I know it's pixelated, but look, at, you can see here, the guy's just running around. We're not casting anything. Our damage quite literally drops to nothing. Absolutely nothing. Nothing. We just run around like... Ugh. 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 I've got no buff, man. I've got no buff. What the fuck? We just... Our DPS just drops. We're not casting anything. We're not doing anything. We're just going to full-on dance mode, right? We're doing the troll dance again. No, no. Ballers don't troll dance. No, we're ready. We're fucking ready. We need to be kicking ass and taking some fucking names, all right? We need to be totally ready for it. What we do is we just run around, and it sucks, man. It really sucks, because we can't do that. We're a baller. We're not just running around. We just run around, we run around. We cauterize. We get our buff back up, but then we cauterize ourselves doing it. Whatever, yellow swag. And then we go back to the I worst can't. position in human history. Let me just show this again. We're here on the map, okay? I can see it clearly. You can see the map. So here's the central circle. Here's the boss. Here's us. What the worst place I could possibly imagine me going as a DPS right now, especially someone who has access to Blink. Blink's a great spell. Think about it. 
is to go. Oh, did I move the screen? Ah, it's all different. Change somebody, change me. Is to go here. Okay, it's the worst place I can possibly imagine to go because you're very quickly going to end up moving again. If we have to move ever we move to the best place we can each and every time habit 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 where is the best place for me to go right now well the boss is moving around there if i blink that way i'm gonna be in front of the boss and let him come towards me i'm not gonna have to move for ages i'm gonna have to move for ages if i blink over here or towards here then the boss is gonna come all the way around to here okay all the way around to here and it's going to be awesome Zeus. it's going to be awesome we don't want to go here but we go again and get our buff get the carter eyes on i'm carterizing bro boom i'm buffed carterizing like a gangster and i just kind of moved to here and as soon as i'm in range i'm going to start dpsing again no blink we didn't really cast anything along the way lack of dps and then we start DPSing. But you can see the boss is already moving away from us. Our boss is going to go around here. Look where our warlock is. Our warlock's got it, gangster. Our warlock's got it owned. Our warlock has absolutely got it school bust. Doing really well. I think that's our warlock. It kind of looks like him. And we end up moving so much. Just look how much movement was involved just there. All the time we're having to shift our position. Because look, this guy. And we're moving again. We're trying to reposition. We're doing some more casting. Our evocation's off and we didn't notice properly. Blah, 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 blah. And I, I permanently we're chasing the boss. We are permanently chasing the boss. Come back, boss. Let me cast my spools at you, plicks. Never. Boss should come to you. And then we reposition again with a singular blink. One cast. Coming at us again for the rest of for the next 30, 40 seconds. One blink again. We're back. He's coming at us again awesome good workshop though good workshop couple of things to work on position position all the time okay really work on that position because you still are pretty much the top of the dps i believe if i come in here to turn some sh turn some jazz off dunk top of the dps number one number one in the dps still you could be dominating absolutely dominating and i'm not joking you could be tearing this motherfucker apart and be an outstanding member of your guild people will just be like what happened i want to see that happen because you've got the potential you've got the gear a little bit of tweaking here and there you shift you literally if you shifted your position and learned how to cast and move and abuse your instant cast spells especially nether tempest let's get that son of a bitch riding if we have to move and literally just consider that position your dps would go straight through the roof and i'm telling you you could be a fucking amazing fire mage so i'd love to see a follow-up i would love to see a follow-up yeah uh, well, i'm pretty sure yeah i think so i think so the name matches the stream name of the character so i would think so uh i'm guessing but i think so so there you go fire mage this leads me on to a couple of videos i need to do for you next week one is moving taking advantage of opportunistic moving how to move while still making sure you cast only your main spells it's a great technique it's one of those things that i do out of habit that maybe i've never i've never talked about i've never really talked about it uh, and also combustion you need to do a whole video on combustion i think to get that out there and get people understanding the way combustion works and you guys will come back and say something like okay i just pulled off a lol combustion and now I'm doing it all the time, and it's great stuff. It's great, great stuff. Uh, so right now, that is our workshop for today. Again, it was one video, but there was lots to cover, which was cool. Uh, I might do a work... I think I'm going to do Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm kind of busy. I'm kind of busy this week. I'm not even live streaming on Friday. I am doing the drama day, but I won't be live streaming all day. I've got too much to do, unfortunately. Um, but if you... <sighs> Come on, camera. Let's turn off the autofocus. Yeah. Bump. all right autofocus off living the dream uh if you wish to submit to me to a workshop please do so at workshop at preachgaming.com please upload them to youtube i did this one on twitch because i had some good comments to make about it realistically i'm not going to do that again as you can see it causes a lot of pixelation problems and all sorts of things that i can't really control and it's not the best viewing experience although the most things we need to get out of it were fine please upload it to youtube and just email me the link with some commentary 
a little bit of commentary about, I don't mean talk over your video, just put a little bit of writing about what is your main problem, what you believe is your main problem, is the main one, what you think is your main problem, or the fact that you can't figure out what your problem is. That's fine too. That's really fine too. So please do that. <sighs> yes, you can use a program like OBS to do so. There's, there is a video on my YouTube channel called How to Submit to the Workshop. You can search that on my channel. I believe we hit 6,000 subscribers today. Pretty sick. Going up pretty fast. Uh, warrior video coming out for you tonight as well. A little bit of uh, shield block and shield barrier. I look forward to the maths guys going a little bit crazy with that stuff. I'll do a workshop on Tuesday and Wednesday next week. I've kind of decided on that now uh, to get more videos out of the way. I've got them kind of piling up. I want to get through them so the new ones can be seen rather quickly. If you have any questions, please leave it on the YouTube video. As for that, I am done for tonight. I have a lot of work to do to try and re-record. So I will be in Warcraft tonight. Probably not going to reply to anybody. I'm going to be recording. Okay, As long as everybody's okay with that. Thank you so much for tuning in for the workshop. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow, 5pm for the daily. I'm not quite sure what it's about yet. See what bothers me tonight. Something is bound to annoy me tonight and we'll talk about it tomorrow. Alright guys, have a great evening and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.